Warning. I'm gonna fucking show you some stages from Brawl and finish these fucking things off. If you don't wanna see them, then fuck off, you bitch. Time to take a shot at Jack, you bitch. Yeah, so fucking shit. It's time for some more stages. So strap in and take a shot, you bitch. God damn, it's getting so fucking close. Let's finish these fucking stages off, you bitch. This is Yoshi's fucking island. On here you can see the familiar, cell shaded background of Yoshi's fucking island 1 and 2, complete with fucking chain chomps and those fucking ghosts that hold platforms up. Those ghosts don't hold those platforms up for more than a fucking second every time. So basically it's like they're not even fucking there. Fucking bitch. So don't rely on their ass. I think this is the smallest stage in this game. I might be mistaken, because I didn't fucking take out my tape measure and fucking look. Why don't you do it? Anyway, I think it's the smallest fucking one. It's really fucking tiny, and nothing else really happens in this thing. Fucking shy guys fly with their little propeller hats and bring food down onto the stage and items, and you fight a lot. It's it. It's easy to die. It's fucking small platform. In this case, I'm gonna die a lot. I think I really got my ass kicked this time. But that's alright. One interesting feature in this fucking stage is that it changes from day to like twilight, dusk, something. Kind of. And then... That's it. It never actually becomes nighttime. It just becomes dusk. And then it returns to daytime again. Because in the world of Yoshi's Island, the Earth doesn't really spin on its fucking axis. It just kind of tilts back and forth a little bit. I don't want to play at night anyway, so fuck that. This is this trophy, the giant floating platform. See it? It does actually make this stage about twice as big as it was before, but it doesn't last very long. So I don't see why it's even in there. The weather also changes in Yoshi's Island, from sunny to fucking freezing. If you thought there was only one fucking ice stage in this game, actually, there are one and one-third ice stages in this fucking game, you bitch. This is the Pokemon Sacrificial Altar. On this fucking altar, Pokemon bring their chosen sacrifice to give to the Poke Gods. And when that happens, the Poke God comes to the platform, eats the fucking Pokemon on it, and then grants wishes to the remaining Pokemon. It's truly a religious experience to be on this fucking stage at all. And we are lucky that it was included in this fucking game. This gigantic Poke God that you see here fucking moves this stage in the strangest way, changes the center of gravity, and reverses your controls. There are several Poke Gods that come to feed on the sacrifices that are brought to this Poke Land. But in this case, I'm only going to show you this one, because I don't have time. I want to show you all these fucking stages. So, as you can see, Mario and Bowser are having the epic fight of the century, as usual. This time, the sacrificial ground. It's a very dark place to be having the final showdown. Once you beat the fucking event, Lucario on it in the event mode. You can see this fucking stage. There we have it. A fucking upside down level. Now you gotta respect how fucking hard it was for me to recover my dude when that fucking happened. That was seriously difficult. The fucking controls were reversed and the fucking gravity was changed. I did not know what the fuck was going on at all when I was doing that shit. Bitch! So the other Pokemon that come onto this fucking stage shoot beams at you while my fucking fireball and screech and make sounds that you don't want to hear and they fucking shoot little waves at you. Oh fuck. And shake the ground and move the camera. And blow parts of the stage off. And every time you play in this thing, it's fucking different.
fucking shame we can't see how that would turn out. This is the fucking Star Fox level. And the graphics are amazing. What it basically is, is a giant curved platform with three platforms above it that tilt to the left and the right while a movie plays in the background. It's a damn good movie too, and occasionally you'll be hit by fucking exploding lasers or bombs. If you jam down your taunt this box at the beginning of this level, you prepare yourself for a surprise of people fucking talking to it. The weird thing about it is the people we're talking to are also fighting him in this fucking fight, which makes not a goddamn bit of sense. There's fucking Crystal, who didn't even make a damn appearance in this fucking game. She's out there. I don't give a fuck about Crystal anyway, I didn't know who she was. So people start bitching about her being a character in this fucking game. Now I know. She's just this hot fox character they made. Star Fox Adventures or some shit like that. So these guys are having space dog fights in the background, and the movie plays for quite a while. It's very easy to be distracted by the fucking graphics as you're fighting, so don't look at them. It's very important. It's really basically a stage that was made for spectating. You can see how epic it looks as you fight. Some people have asked me if it's important at all to pay attention to what's happening in the background of the stage. Like to avoid lasers or something like that. And I would say generally, no, it's not fucking important. If you re-enter the atmosphere, it fucking burns, but you don't burn. What the fuck? There's Cap Capasaur again. Fucking ripping off Fox. Making the total clones of Fox in this fucking stage four now. With Fox the covers being drunk. He's gonna prove it. There he is. The fucking cat with Capasaur Fox clones. You're out on the fucking top of this shit. Who knows how these fucking foxes are breathing air? There's no fucking air in space last time I checked. There they are, fucking fighting away, doing exercise that would make me winded here on Earth. What the fuck? Log in to the motherfucking Donkey Kong universe. Join our forums and talk to me. The show is not gonna be over when Brawl is done. But I'm not gonna be covering Brawl anymore, obviously. Because you're gonna be fucking playing it! So go to the Vagrant website too, and view all the other fucking shows we've made. There's a shitload of them.